Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee, weather in five, five days in five minutes. Just want to give everybody a heads up that we have our Sunday night Joe and Joe weather show podcast at 7.35 p.m. Eastern time, and it's going to come pretty much at a good time to match up with what's happening weather-wise in the eastern part of the United States. Stormy conditions up and down, so that's tomorrow night at 7.35 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. We are at least for now, in a fairly calm place as we uh, take a look at the uh, Eastern Satellite Loop. Uh, and uh, you'll notice uh, that there really isn't a whole a lot happening here. I'm just going to give this a quick refresh. Uh, and uh, other than patchy high clouds that will be moving through the eastern part of the United States today, uh, we should be in pretty good shape. Now, the further west you go, there are some problems, and there's some lead rain and some thunderstorms that have moved out ahead of the cold front and developing low, which is still passing through uh, the western areas of the Ohio Valley and then points south down into the Gulf states. And this is going to set up some severe weather later today in parts of the south and southeast. And here's what the radar looks like as of uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Up and down the east coast, there really isn't much happening. We've got a line of showers moving into uh, western Pennsylvania, down into West Virginia, and even a few rumbles of thunder as you get further south into western North Carolina and northern Georgia. That is the lead area. And then you're starting to see the beginnings of some thunderstorms developing across Arkansas and western Tennessee. And that is the energy uh, with the cold front. We've got... Uh, Rain showers moving through parts of the Great Lakes and in the colder air, some snow back in parts of Minnesota. Not really a whole lot there. And we have another surge of rain coming into uh, the Pacific Northwest. The Storm Prediction Center uh, for today, we've been highlighting this idea of severe weather with this for the last couple of days uh, from uh, eastern Louisiana, southeastern uh, Arkansas, across Mississippi, northern Alabama, into northwest Georgia, most of Tennessee and southern Kentucky, where we have a slight risk. And you see the marginal risk extends up into the central Appalachians. This is through tomorrow morning. And there is elevated tornado risk of 2 to as much as 5%, which is a little unusual for this time of year. But we're dealing with a strong cold front and a lot of energy in the upper atmosphere that's getting involved with this. Now, for Sunday... The risk of general thunderstorm activity is pushed up into southern New England. Uh, and this is part of the reason why we're seeing a potential for some heavy rains of uh, two inches or more in many areas across the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast. Marginal risk for severe weather, uh, Delmarva Peninsula, uh, southern Maryland in through Virginia, north and south Carolina, central and south Georgia, and down over into the Florida Panhandle. Now, as far as rain is concerned, uh, these are seven-day rainfall amounts. I'm just going to make this zoom in a little bit here. And uh, we've got uh, a very large area of one and a half to two and a half inches of rain from northeast Georgia, eastern Tennessee, across North Carolina, then northward all the way up into New England and some higher amounts uh, for New England of two to as much as three inches being indicated by the weather prediction folks. And then we have lesser amounts as we go through, through the rest of the southeast and down into Florida. Also seeing a half to three quarter inch rainfall amounts back into West Texas. And these could these could be from systems that are coming for it next week. And also a continuation of heavy precipitation as energy co continues to move in to the Pacific Northwest. There will be a change to snow before this ends. And that is going to be in areas of, from the central Appalachians northward uh, into northern Pennsylvania, including northeast Pennsylvania, the Cats, the Poconos. And then in New York State, we're talking the Catskills. 50% or higher probabilities for at least two, particularly from the Catskills northeast up into the Adirondacks and uh, into northernmost New England. And if we change the probabilities to four, uh, you'll see that uh, in this area in Salmon and the Adirondacks, it's 80% or higher, and the 50% line even gets down as far south uh, as the uh, the Catskills. So it's a lot of energy that we're talking about here and uh, just looking at what the GFS is doing. So let's just roll along as we go through the rest of today. Again, in the northeast and mid-Atlantic states, it's a warm day with temperatures climbing up through the 50s. Uh, 
the uh, wind is not going to pick up until tomorrow as the front nears. And when you look at it this tomorrow morning and you say, okay, well, this looks like, you know, doesn't look anything exceptional. However, it's slow moving. And then as we start to get that upper air energy to get involved, you begin to see uh, areas of heavy rain break out. This is at 1 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, in the areas in yellow, this uh, map actually represents what the GFS thinks the radar is going to look like at 1 p.m. Sunday. So it'll probably be raining just about everywhere up and down the East Coast, except for perhaps Maine uh, and parts of eastern New England. And then by evening, everybody's in it. And you start to see a change over to snow back in the mountains of of western North Carolina, even here in northern Georgia, might see a brief change over to snow and then on up into West Virginia. Uh, and then that area expands as colder air comes in. Now, we've got a wave developing, and this is Sunday morning at 1 a.m. There's a low off the Virginia coast, and that wave is going to move fairly quickly up into southeastern New England by Monday morning. And you'll notice how tight the isobars are uh, ahead of it. We're going to have winds that are going to be running uh, along the coast anyway to perhaps 50 miles an hour or more, especially uh, from just offshore coastal New Jersey to Long Island and into, into uh, eastern New England. Uh, on the back side, uh, the gradient tightens up mainly after the wave goes by. So you'll see stronger winds uh, during the day on Monday. Uh, I don't think they'll be as high as they will be along the coast Sunday evening. Uh, but they still could be every bit of 30 to 40 miles per hour. So we might be an advisory criteria for, for winds during the day on Monday. You'll see that the snow area expands a bit uh, Sunday night uh, in the areas in Pennsylvania, in western Virginia, on up into New York State. And then that continues to move northeastward on Monday as the storm pulls away. And it'll be a windy day on Monday, but weather conditions will improve as the low moves up into Maine. And then as we go through next week, it looks to be mainly quiet with probably seasonal temperatures, maybe a little bit above normal some days, a little bit below normal the other days. Nothing really to stand out, but the whole week looks dry. And then we have something a little unusual as models continue to point to something coming out from the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. It's not a tropical system, uh, but it will eventually become a well-developed low as it moves northeastward and northward next weekend. So we have another perhaps important weather system to look ahead to come next weekend uh, heading into the northeast. And just very quickly, in terms of watches that are up, we do have flood watches up from uh, parts of uh, northeastern Virginia to Delaware, northward through eastern Pennsylvania, all of New Jersey, uh, all of the Hudson Valley, back up to the Catskills, New York City, Long Island, Connecticut, western and central Massachusetts, uh, into southern uh, Vermont and New Hampshire and into Maine. Winter storm watches up for northeastern New York and also for central and northern Vermont. Um, I suspect we might see some additions to all of this over time, particularly in the central Appalachians and in western Pennsylvania and western New York. As we get closer to the event time, you probably see winter weather advisories go up in some of these areas. But the primary issue is going to be wind and rain here uh, in the northeast and in the uh, northern mid-Atlantic states with the system uh, as it plays on through. So, again, Joe and Joe Weather Show is uh, tomorrow night, 7.35 p.m., right in the middle of all of this. So be sure to tune in and enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And if you haven't gotten your Christmas decorations up, at least from the standpoint of having a decent day to do it, this would be it. Of course, then you'll run the risk of having them get blown away uh, for uh, tomorrow uh, and tomorrow night when this storm system plays on through.